Hi everyone and welcome back to Sucuri Security's Guide to WPCLI. Today we're going to take a look at how to back up WordPress and then update the core. First thing you're going to want to do is get logged in. Just like we did in the last video, you want to use the SSH terminal to get into your website. So if you need to, you can look back at the previous video to find out how to do that. Once you're logged in, just make sure that you're in your home folder where WordPress is installed, just like we showed you in the last video, and then type WPDB export. This will back up your whole database into an SQL file stored on your server. In order to back up your website files, we need to use a tar command, which isn't part of WPCLI, and the little period at the end there is really important. So this tar command has a few little things we've added to it to make sure that it backs up all the files in your server. So type tar dash vczf and then name your backup whatever you want and then put dot gz and then a space and another period and as you can see this is going through your whole WordPress site and it's backing up everything including the SQL file that we just backed up it'll put it in one nice file just like a zip file that we'll be able to transfer off of your server so it's a little bit tough to do in a terminal so we're going to show you how to use FileZilla as you can see when I typed ls, the backup and the SQL file are there. And so now you just want to open up FileZilla, which is also free for all platforms. And use the site manager here to enter your server location, choose SFTP, and enter your username. From there when you connect, you will probably see a fingerprint just like we did in SSH. And what you'll want to do is make sure that you check with your host's documentation to check that fingerprint and make sure that it's secure. That'll just make sure that you're connecting to the right place. Once it's confirmed, you'll just need to enter your password again, and it'll connect to your server, and you'll start to see your website files on the right side and your computer on the left. From there, you can go ahead, find your SQL file of your database backup and the tar.gz that you have backed up, and you can just drag it over anywhere you want. I'm going to put it on the desktop, and then it just takes a little while for it to download. So one thing you're going to want to keep in mind is you always want to transfer your backups off-site. And if you really have a lot of things that you've backed up, you're going to want to test them as well by uploading them to a staging server and making sure that the backups work. You can follow our blog to find out some more advice on how to back up your website properly. We have a great article written by Kier about it. In order to update your core files, it's very simple. You just type WP Core Update. Right now there's no update available. If there was, it would let you know that it's been successful. And then to update your database, you just type WP Core Update DB. And you're done. That's all you need in order to back up and update WordPress. So stay tuned for next time and we'll dive a little further into WPCLI. Thanks for watching.